Okay, so today we are going to be doing uh, C-spine projections. So we're going to start with our lateral. So we're going to have our left side down. So we'll have you turn all the way to the left there. You can pull your hair back from your... We want to be centered right at about C4, which is about midway of the spine. Why don't we have to go a step back? No, back. Okay, now scoot forward. A little bit more. Uh, step right there. Be sure your CR and your IR are aligned and your interceptor is set the correct way. We're going to collimate down to the area of interest, which again is just the cervical spine. We have our left side down, so we're going to put a left marker on the board. Just a little bit. Okay. All right, so we want to be able to see all seven vertebral bodies in this. C1 through C7. Relax your shoulders. Bring it straight ahead. And bring your chin up just a little. We want to raise the chin a little so the mandible doesn't superimpose over C1. Uh, you're going to hold your breath. Don't move. Now we're going to take that first exposure. At a 72-inch SID. All right, so from here, we're going to go ahead and go to our obliques. So we're going to rotate the patient 45 degrees. So this position the patient is in is an LPO. So we have the left posterior against the board. Now we would like our SID to be between 40 and 72 inches. 72 is preferred because of the OID. But with the limitations of our table and everything in this room, we're going to have to go a little closer because our patient is not super tall. So you want a 15 to 20 degree cephalic angle. I'm gonna use 15 degrees. And let's see how close I can get. We'll have to get way close. Be sure again to align your CR and your IR always. And we are still wanting to be centered right at about C4. And that is our LPO, left posterior oblique of the cervical spine. We're at about 45, 46 inch SID. I would like to be farther, but with the limitations of this room, I can't get any farther back. Um, and in this projection, we are going to see the right intervertebral foramen. So we're going to see the opposite side of the side down. So we always do both obliques. So I'm going to rotate you this way so you want to put your back. And then we're going to turn this way. And then we're going to switch our marker because we are doing the right posterior oblique this time. Take a step forward towards the wall. Yeah. Right there. We're still lined up with our CR and IR. Didn't change our angle, didn't change anything except we rotated the patient the opposite direction. So she is now in an RPO or a right posterior oblique. And for this one, we are going to be seeing the left intervertebral foramen for this one. So we've done our lateral, both obliques. Next, we're going to do our AP axial. So I already have the angle on, so I'm making my job a little bit easier. So we're going to go ahead and put your back against the board, facing out. There we go. This one we do want at 40 inches SID, and we still want a 15 to 20 degree cephalic angle. And, it, and we still want to be centered at C4. Go ahead and raise your chin back. Yeah, you already did it before you even asked. Perfect. There. Check our alignment again. Nice tight collimation so we don't have any extra scatter. Right marker is still in on her right side. Be sure your central ray is down that mid sagittal plane. Again, have the patient hold very still. Uh, no movement, no breathing, exposures made, and that is your AP axial of the cervical spine. We have one projection left. Last one is what we call the open mouth or the odontoid projection.
every patient's favorite one because they get really awkward when you have to have your patient open up their mouth. So you need to have two things lined up for this one. You need to have the base of the skull and the upper incisors or the upper teeth on the same plane. So first thing we do, find the base of the skull. Okay, now go ahead and open your mouth wide. Be sure that, that the base of the skull and those upper teeth are on the same plane. You want to have your central ray at the open mouth. And again, we're gonna collimate nice and tight. You're gonna have your patient hold really still. Don't move, do not move, do not breathe. Take the exposure, and that is our, our AP open mouth or odontoid projection. You can relax. <laughs> and that will allow us to see uh, the dens of C2 as well as the lateral masses of C1. And that, guys, is your cervical spine routine. <laughs>